Here's five things I hate about my newly restored Porsche 911. Number one is putting gas in it. Getting gas in this car is kind of a challenge. Normally you fill it up would be on that side, but because the gas tank thing has been shaved, you have to open the hood. And that's where the problem starts. You need a stick and the release is underneath here. So I have to lay down, release the latch. And then because this has been backdated, the latch is way back there. So I cannot reach it with my fingers. I have to use the stick like so. Now I'm in. Then it's a prop rod. And then here is the gas filler right here. So a couple extra steps, not exactly ideal if you're not wearing dirty clothes. 87 is a low compression engine, so I'm not too worried about that. Also, you can see a lot more work to do here in the wiring department. Other interesting thing about this setup is this is my gas gauge at the moment. The car does have a gas gauge, but not connected at the moment. And I have about, you know, five, six inches of gas, which is plenty for now. You gotta remember not to put the stick inside, otherwise you'll never get in again. This goes back here. All right, let's go. I don't really mind the toggle switch here. It's easy to reach with my left hand, not much different than if it was in the factory position. The issue is there's just no way to know if you leave it on. There's no canceling feature and there's no indicator here on the tachometer where it would normally be on a Porsche. The other thing I don't like about this car is it's super loud. Right now I'm going about 55 miles an hour in fourth gear and the sound, you know, right by my ear, this is 90 decibels. It's pretty loud. There's no windows on the side. There's no carpeting. There's no sound deadening. There's not much at all. Like I wanted minimalistic, but this is pretty loud. So during acceleration, That's almost 100 decibels inside the car. Cruising noise is about 92, 94, fourth gear. Back here is the unfinished part. This is part of the reason why it's so loud. This is just bare metal underneath here, no insulation other than the undercoating. The other thing I do not like about the car are these unpainted bumpers. A lot of work done to these bumpers, the bumperettes, everything shaped to fit, but I do not like the unpainted look. To me, it just looks like a unfinished kit that was put on the car. A lot of you guys don't like the two-tone look either. This is the way I bought the bumper. It's just white at the moment. Hopefully get to paint it soon. Another thing I don't like about my Porsche is I cannot drive it at night because there's no headlight switch here on the dashboard and there is no wiring for the headlights because the factory wiring was just fried. These are the US sealed beam headlights, likely to get changed out with the European ones. Those are the five things I don't really like about the car right now, but does that keep me from driving it? Nope. Does that keep a smile off my face? Nope. Even though this car has that unfinished and raw attitude and several flaws with it, I'm still really enjoying the car and having a lot of fun with it. I've put about 
400 miles on it already. I've said before, this car will probably never be finished. It's a constant process of getting better each week. I still have tons of plans for this car. Also, just a few thank yous. This was sent to me from o Lithuania. Uh, this is the hood badge from Ovidius. I think that's how you say it. Ovidius sent me this from Lithuania just because he saw that I was missing it. He's watched a few episodes and he just wanted to see the car get a little bit more completed. So thank you to Ovidius. We'll put that on right now. Also, Mark sent me the uh, horn button grommet or uh, spacer. So I get my horn button back in. That's a leather horn button that he sent me earlier. Get that installed today. That is beautiful and it fits nice and tight. Thank you, Mark. And also, uh, Joe sent me a can of paint. You know, I had done a lot of work to match the oil filter canister paint color. He had a spare can laying around, so I'm gonna spray a different part with that and just compare the color, see how close it really is. So thanks again to Joe. Also, Patreon members, you guys have made this a lot more fun. A lot of good interaction over there on Patreon. And of course, all of you who watch on a regular weekly basis, I really thank you for continue, continuing with me on this journey. It's been a lot of fun and uh, I think it's just beginning.